Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and in this video I will tell you how to assemble the full kit. In previous videos I've shown you all the kit that you need to assemble your basic rope access gear. So now it's time to put everything together. Let's go. First piece of kit I need is of course the backup. Like I've shown you before, I'll be using the Petzl ASAP, which you connect to one of the fall arrest points of your harness. It could either be the one on the chest or the one on the back. However, the one on the back makes the operation of the ASAP a little bit more difficult. So we're going to attach it to the front D-ring at our chest level. The one marked with an A should be right there. So I'll open the carabiner, I go in from the bottom, close it, check if it's locked. So now, if I will be descending, the ASAP will be positioned like this and the spine of the carabiner will be touching any surface that we might hit. So it's the strongest configuration. The next piece of kit, we need to go down on the rope, of course, the descender. Now before I connect this to my harness, I want to tell you about the sponsor of these videos. And that is Industrial Klimme in the Netherlands. Industrial Klimme is a training center situated just above Amsterdam and where they provide all the working at height training that you can imagine. You can come here for the GWO syllabus, working at height, first aid, fire awareness, manual handling, advanced rescue training and enhanced first aid training. Or you can come here for your Arata training or if you only need a basic training you can come here for just a basic fall arrest and positioning training or a, a specific rescue training. Basically anything you want regarding working at heights you can do it here. If it's not a standard training they can tailor make one for you. There's a web shop and a physical shop and in the physical shop you can come by and try out all the gear that you want to Test and see if you like it. On with the descender. I'll be using a Petzl ID in these examples. So the way to attach this to your harness is you look into the device when you swing the plate open, you close the plate and you take your carabiner and then you go in from the top of the ID into the ID and then you rotate it. That way you can attach it to your harness from the bottom up from the ring. You lock the carabiner if I'm suspended in the descender, then again, same as with the backup device, the spine of the carabiner will be touching any surface we hit. Which type of carabiner you use, it's up to you. On my personal one, I have a triact, so it doesn't get done automatically. But you should always be aware that you keep monitoring any carabiners that are in use, that they are locked. Next bit of kit, the ascender. Now when I say a sender, I usually mean connected with a foot loop, because if I have only the ascender, I would need to be pulling on my arms and we don't want that. So we attach a foot loop in which I can put my foot so I can stand up in it. So I attach the foot loop to, the, to one of the holes and most commonly used, this one, this one is for non-standard configurations. We'll be using the bottom hole of the handled ascender. I take my right hand cow tail, I'm right handed, so if you're left handed you might want to turn, turn it around. I know left handed, excuse me, I know right handed people who operate their ascender on the left hand. It's all up to you. I attach the cow tail onto the ascender and I roll up the foot loop. I open the ascender, put the remaining part of the foot loop in and close it. I don't really lock it, but just close it so that it stays in place. This way, if I walk around, I'm not tripping on the foot loop. Okay. And I attach it to my gear loop. So that's it. I have my hel helmet, it's done up with the chin strap. I have my backup device, I have my descender, I have my ascender. My chest ascender is integrated in the harness. I have my work boots on, because I'm going to work, and that's it. We're ready to go. So if you like this video or this series of videos, please tell me in the comments, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the videos we will be releasing. See you in the next one where we start climbing.